T Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T Man 978. Welcome to another chill review. This time it's going to be Fans Hobby MB13A Red Buzzer, who's supposed to be Transformers Generation 1 Siren from Transformers Super God Master Force. He's a Headmaster Junior, which means it's the actual person inside is the robot and this car is just his transector body yeah shout out to matt parts farmer this is his and he's allowing me to review it and even more shout out this guy back there he told me i could have it for my birthday so thank you so much i am blessed and i'm in a good position since i started this youtube stuff so Thank you, thank you. I appreciate anybody, like I said in my other video, that has done anything for me and my channel. Let's get on to this review. You get this instruction pamphlet. You get a collector's card. You get a whole rack of stickers. That thankfully, even though I like putting on stickers sometimes, I don't have to do that. I'll let him do that. We got an extra face that you'll see later, and the rest of the components are actually inside of here. Um, did I actually spin this around? I'll let you look at this. You can pause to read whatever. But there you are. Here's this on this side, this on the bottom. Nothing's on the top but the name and this barcode, which can't help you at all. Here is the car. It rolls. This person is a fire, or they work for the fire department. Fire chief. Wow. Yeah, first impression, pulling it out the box, and it is a budget robot. It does not feel expensive at all. At all. It feels like the combiner wars of the masterpiece world. Like, hmm. I would say it feels less expensive than even the x Transbot Stunticons. But you see all these details. This is what it looks like at the bottom. The weapons are stored here. The top of the Headmaster Junior helmet is stuck right there. The wheels are like a pliable material. I think it's plastic, soft plastic and not rubber. These headlights come up like that which is cool and it's easy to do and easy to put back down and they work instead of the doors opening it, for a vehicle that's specifically made to have a passenger you open it up retro style and it's just a cockpit in there and you have this guy and it's no real car details or anything and there's just a seat with that little console in front of it here is I'm guessing this would be Red Buzzer, even though what do they call him? Let me look at the. They call him a junior power driver, but it would be a junior headmaster. These things I don't like. The proportions are wacky, and yeah, that, that's the main thing. These arms are so short, but you get this on the ball joint. And these elbows can bend forward, but they are extremely tight. It can bend 90 degrees, but I don't I don't feel like going through all that. The head is on a ball joint. It can move it can rotate and move a little bit. You do get an ab crunch. The hips go out that far. You can kick up more than 90. They can bend all the way back. And they can go back more than 90. There's no waist rotation. So, there's that. Here it is next to Masterpiece Ratchet. A little bit longer than Masterpiece Ratchet, so... Fits right in as far as Masterpiece cars go. Here is a Deluxe Bumblebee. For the people that like to see Generations toys next to Masterpiece for some reason. Knowing damn well they don't scale. Before we transform it, let's make sure you see these details and whatnot. What paint it does have is nice, but it would have been nicer if it had 
paint all over instead of just plain gray plastic. And I guess there is a license plate on here to fill into there. So yeah, it's a nice mix of masterpiece style transformation and engineering, but it's using budget plastic and it's retro with the cockpit and the stickers. So yeah, yeah. I like the car. Um, I have difficulty sometimes getting this stuff to line up. This is the best I've been able to do. Optimus Prime isn't alive during the Super God Master Force, but it can fit into MP44's trailer. Isn't that nice? All right, now that we've done all that, it's time for transformation. I'm going to lift this up right here and we need to basically kind of like get this away from that door right there i did it i got the peg goes into the door but we need to like kind of pull away it is kind of nerve-wracking to be honest and then we can kind of bend this so we can get that out of the front of the car now that that's out i'm going to fold this door over or the window over do that on both sides and i am going to basically bring everything out to the side right here these will probably detach themselves so just finish the detachment and at this point we can grab here and pull the legs out all the way like this make sure that the legs are straight with both knee joints bent we can separate this and now this hinge right here this black hinge can go that way this can come that way take this toe out rotate it and the toe is actually supposed to sit here and now we can shut this panel lift this up and let's see if I can actually get the light in the right place because these pieces are dark plastic but basically this needs to this piece right here needs to come I guess before we can do that we need to slide slide this down right there and that little notch needs to go into the hole and while we're doing that now we can peg this but get that in the hole and then when once it's in that hole which you have to move like two pieces at once we can shove the side view mirror in there and it actually clicks unlike their um athena so the legs are way easier to transform than athena bend that black piece and move this around and that that way and spin the foot shut this bring this up slide this down start rotating it this way while clamping all that stuff together yeah right here i'm gonna push this panel down but i'm not gonna put these down yet now we can go ahead and start separating this there we go the guns are gonna fall off but let them go but there is a little knot knob right there that goes into a hole right here that scares me a bit we can also go ahead and take this head crest thing off grab this and just pull that up make sure that that doesn't break or anything get the arms up out the way get the arms out the way these pieces right here needs to fold down into there rotate this pull that into there now we can close these up 
this can come down and rotate around like that. And then we can detach the arms off of this panel. Get this up and we can fold that in. Separate the arm from this. Fold that in. Get the, we can rotate that for now, but rotate this down so that we can elongate this, put the hand forward, bring the arm down. And now we can rotate this bar in such a way, whereas we can have this right over the shoulder. And it stays it's way better than Arathena. I'm gonna get this hand down. Rotate the arm this way, oh, bring it out, bring it down, and then get this like this. I'm doing something different than I normally do, which is kind of weird for me, and it's keeping my head kind of centered in front of the camera. I'm looking at all this through my screen instead of actually looking at the toy, and that is way different for me. So now, the transector body is good to go. You could shove that down to bring the windshield closer. Get him standing up. This dude right here. We can bend the knees up into themselves and have the body like this. And now it's the head. We can take that little crest and grab it into there. These arms are stiff, so they should stay where they're supposed to be. You can go ahead and shove the head into there. And that comes in and out way easier than Minerva, aka Athena. And you're good to go there. The guns. Open them up. And if you've got little tiny fingernails, which... I say screw that. Use the spudger. Get that handle up. Open that up. Get the handle up. So now the guns will be ready. But now it is a robot and the guns are formed and we're good to go for the next phase of this video. All right, here's Rib Buzzer in the robot mode. I like the robot mode. I'm going to be honest with you. The hips, it has something that I'm, I'm not used to in masterpiece style transformers or transformers in general. It has drop down hips. Like between that and the ball joint in the waist with the hinge attached, it's kind of difficult to get them standing straight up or neutral. He's always has some type of sassiness. But um, let's let you see the face up close. This is the generic face. Here's what the head will be looking like. Here's the chest details. I mean, it has like this. Mm, let me try to zoom in on this. Maybe I should darken things up a bit. But it has like this. I can't even explain it. Like a metal texture or metal looking type texture all over even though it's not really painted and here is what the rest of this body is looking like but yeah I do like that finish a bit but yeah let's go into the articulation because it is what it is well, no, let me show you the special feature. You can pull this down to see the, the tech specs right there. Now, they do have a sticker, this red, white, and blue one. They gave you two for that, so it'll look a little bit better. But this works a lot better than Minerva. I'm just realizing it's not spring-loaded anymore. You pull this down, and it's pushing something up. That spring-loaded one kind of started breaking on my Minerva. I, I keep going back between Minerva and Athena. They are the same person I'm talking about. But anyhow, articulation. The head is on a ball joint. Or it's actually on that head. <laughs> the head is the ball joint. 
so you can get all of this right here you can look down can't really look up too high the arms can swivel all the way around this can get out the way so that that can get out the way it can swivel right here at the bicep you get more than 90 at the elbow um this panel right there can lift up a bit but i do like that this like sits in a spot that's sort of reminiscent to the original toy the waist you hear me mentioning it's on the ball joint so you can get back forward you can twist and go down in all angles and whatnot there is also like a hinge in there to get you even more of a rock a bit uh, if you don't pull it off but that does let you see right there that the body is on a ball joint if you're not too crazy with it like I am then you won't have to worry about this but go in there but you get a little bit on the ball but the rest of it is on the hinge basically is what I'm trying to say I showed the drop down hips. The leg can still only kick up about 90 with that. Go back that far. Go out to the side. You got a swivel right here. It's a double jointed knee, but you see all this kibble. If you want the knee to bend at all, you need to bend on that top joint. I mean, you can shift it around and, and do things like that. That's still only 90 to be, be honest. The ankles, though, are pretty much infinite. You can get ankle pivot that much. You can get ankle pivots out, out there. You can rotate the whole foot around. You can lift the foot all the way the frick up. You can put the foot back. You can do whatever you need to do with that daggone foot because of this hinge right here. The hands. The hands are just like the Athena where all the fingers are together on those two joints. And the thumb is like that and it rotates and it does this. So if he had swords, he would have that motion, but he doesn't have swords. I don't like these hands. They're stiff, but yeah, I don't like them. The gun, the gun pegs in typically, typical masterpiece style. And you need to wrap the fingers around it. But the slightest bump the wrong way and he's gonna lose that dag on grip i wish that everybody had the style of gun holding that um that armada megatron has the mega tyranno but you saw how posable he is i wish the ab crunch could bend a little bit more still but Here's my go-to basic bend the knee pose. And you can have one of the arms out. And whatnot. I kind of wish I had butterfly as well, but what you got is good. And the guns are seemingly staying in the hands tighter right now since I did, I complained about it. But you saw this face. You need to grab up under here and maybe pull this off, but grab up under here and put this one on and put this back on. And now let's pop the head back in. And now he is. Yelling or happy to be fighting i i can't tell but yeah this is an easy review because this is almost like generations easy to transform and the amount of articulation and the amount of accessories that goes the gun out the hand but let me get his hips to where they're supposed to be yeah you could shorten the legs i didn't realize that well, I never knew that. So I could just put the 
You can make them as tall or as short as you want to. Want to. I, I didn't know that. Because I don't think you have to do that for the transformation. But to make sure you see that, the knee joint is actually going up into the thigh. So keep that in mind if you're having trouble transforming this guy. Maybe that's the problem. Once again, for the people that like to see generation stuff next to Masterpiece. I mean, yeah, that's not a deluxe class, but there you go. Here's a good idea. He's basically a Voyager class size, but he has twice the amount of engineering. So it's twice the price, to be honest. All right, and here's this comparison right here. He is slightly taller than your typical Masterpiece car by it, but still shorter than the Seeker right here, which is shorter than the previous Seeker, if I'm not mistaken. But end of the day, I like this robot mode. I would like it more if it could hold the guns better. It's definitely posable. It's a little bit hindered here or there. Like I was showing, mostly the neck because it's a headmaster, the the knees because of the kibble on the back. Um, the kibble right here and the shoulders get out, gets out of the way. I'm used to the robots being able to lift the shoulders up higher, but these panels definitely block that. Uh, this kibble is kibbly in the back, but it's flat. I'm only mentioning it because it does get in the way when you're trying to pose them you're like constantly shifting this left and right and whatnot the headmaster in his robot mode looks ugly every single one of them I, I just have to admit to that but overall overall I, I like it um like i said it does not feel expensive because compared to something like this it's not expensive <laughs> The engineering is probably way more crazy in this, and it is fully painted head to toe. They purposely made him budget so that he could be more alluring, and, and I can appreciate that. Plus, like, they're going for that in-between of toy accuracy and cartoon accuracy, so, yeah, it, it's good to go. I, I can't not recommend this. It is way better than the Athena, and you keep hearing me mention Athena, Look for my chill review for Athena. I don't know where I put it, and I'm not going to drive myself crazy. I need to get this done so I can get it back to Matt. Thank you, Matt, once again, and thank you all for watching this video. You can probably find this guy at Toy Dojo. Toy Dojo. Matt got it from Chosen Prime, though, but I'll probably put a link to Toy Dojo if it's actually available. Thank you so much for watching this. Until next time. T-Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those videos, baby. Click, click the videos.